Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everybody. It's a pleasure to be here. First of all, I like to give a lot of thanks to the chairman of this conference, Professor John Olavidin, for inviting me as a speaker. I think it's a great opportunity for me to meet with international experts from different countries as well as share knowledge to each other. So, I'm Dr. Mohana Begum. Pediatric Hematologist and Oncologist from Bangladesh. So today my topic is Immunophenotype Pattern of Childhood Acute Leukemia by Flow Cytomatic Analysis. Basically you know the uh, early diagnosis and accurate diagnosis is very important for children with cancer and uh, immunophenotyping is uh, very a uh, high tech technology usually now it is useful for uh, very useful for diagnosis of leukemia oh. so flow cytometry is a standard laser based technology that is used in the detection and measurement of physical and chemical characteristics of the cells uh, in a heterogeneous fluid mixture the use of flow cytometry has increased over the years as it provides a rapid analysis of multiple characteristics of the cell that include the particle size um, or cell size, uh, granularity or complexity of the cell and fluorescence intensity. Basically acute uh, lymphoblastic leukemia and acute myeloid leukemia has different subgroups and these subgroups are very difficult to differentiate by bone marrow morphological examination. Bone marrow morphological examination of acute leukemia was the main tool before the availability of monoclonal antibodies against lymphoid and myeloid differentiation antigen. So, immunophenotyping is a strong diagnostic tool that can be used to differentiate the different cancer cell lineage by expressing the presence or absence of cancer cell marker that correlate with a different degree of severity. So objective of this study is to determine the immunophenotypic pattern and proportion of subtypes of acute leukemia in children. This is the prospective observational study that has done in PDD Hematology and Oncology Department of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Medical University uh, from January 2021 to December 2021 and sample size was 542. Children uh, is 2 to 18 years who are uh, suspected acute leukemia attend in PDD Hematology Oncology Department are included in this study and those are more than 18 years and uh, chronic leukemia excluded from this study. Um, bone marrow uh, were uh, ob obtained from clinically suspected acute leukemia children and we analyzed 542 clinically suspected <coughs> leukemia and we use uh, 13 CT marker for evaluation of acute leukemia and these are the monoclonal antibodies that we use in our department uh, those are lineage specific that is uh, for B lineage leukemia we use CD 10 19 and 79 a for T lineage leukemia we use CD 357 and myeloid lineage um, antibodies are CD13, 33, 117, MPO, HLADR, and other are CD34 and CD45. We use some reagent and equipments uh, uh, for analysis of this monoclonal antibody. So, single cell suspension is required for flow cytometry analysis. And prepared sample of bone marrow was uh, placed in a suspension and um, appropriate CT marker for acute leukemia uh, for both uh, ALL and AML um, placed in two test tube and both test tube are uh, then injected into the flow cytometer machine one by one. The cells are arranged in 
single cell line and then passed in front of a laser beam when cell um, passed in front of a laser beam laser uh, light from a laser beam hit the cell and cell scattered the light in different way that is forward scattered way and um, sideways scattered way and and then cells are counted and categorized on the basis of cell size and complexity of the cell this uh, this figure shows the cell population based on forward scattered and side scattered and forward scattered is always forward, forward scattered along the um, x-axis and uh, side scattered along the y-axis and forward scattered always proportional to the shape and size of the cell and uh, side scattered um, proportional to the complexity or granularity of the cell so here uh, is the lymphocyte as because lymphocyte has uh, large size but mm, few granule or um, there is no granule so lymphocyte are um, high uh, forward scatter but low side scatter these are the um, red dot are the blast area and uh, blue dot are uh, granulocyte area and uh, we know the granulocyte contain more uh, granules so their uh, place is a higher that is a higher side scatter and higher uh, forward scattered as because the um, neutrophil are large size and also contain the granule this plot with uh, cd45 with uh, side scattered and basically cd45 uh, antibody useful for excluding the debris and differentiate the different type of leukocyte so and um, different leukocyte grouped into uh, granulocyte and monocyte and lymphocyte and uh, green uh, dot indicate the lymphocyte and red dot this is the blast window and this area for monocyte and this area for uh, neutrophil and lower uh, left bottom area that is this area usually for debris and debris include the last RBC platelet and other particle. So, when to say an antigen is positive or negative? And this is the two parameter dot plot. And each dot plot divided into four quadrant. And here the dot plot, uh, uh, two parameter dot plot is CD19 and CD79A. And uh, blue um, arrow indicate the cells here only positive for CD19. And green arrow indicate the cells here only positive for CD79A. And um, upper right corner, that is this quadrant, um, orange arrow indicate the cells both positive for CD19 and CD79A and um, left lower quadrant that is purple arrow this area cells uh, um, negative for both marker that is both are uh, negative for CD19 and CD79A so when we calculate the uh, cell we calculate uh, the double positive area and also the single area We analyzed 542 bone marrow sample. Among them, uh, most common was uh, um, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, that is 299, uh, um, more than 50%. Uh, Next common is acute myeloid leukemia, 12%, and acute miscellaneous leukemia was 2.21% and ALL with aberrant expression and AML with aberrant expression was around 10%. This table shows the CD marker expression of acute leukemia 
and here the um, BALL um, 100% BALL express the uh, CD19 and TLL CD3 and AML uh, MPO um, positive and next common marker um, positive marker was CD79, E, CD7 and CD33 respectively. ELL with aberrant expression uh, here both B cell ELL and T cell ELL aberrant expression were CD13 and next common was uh, CD1333 both uh, CD79A etc. And AML with aberrant expression was most commonly was uh, with CD7 that is uh, with the T cell that is uh, 26 in number that is 4.79 percent and next common was uh, CD5 and CD19 uh, uh, respectively. This um, figure shows uh, the left one shows the bone marrow morphological examination shows the myeloblast here and immunophenotyping report shows the CD13, CD33 positive and MPO positive and CD117 and also HLEDR positive. So this report goes to acute myeloid leukemia. This figure also shows uh, the bone marrow morphological findings, uh, shows the lymphoblast on left side and uh, immunophenotyping typing pattern shows the CD3, CD7 uh, and CD5 positive and this goes to T lymphoblastic leukemia. So this uh, figure also shows the uh, lymphoblast of bone marrow morphological examination and immunophenotypic pattern shows the CD79 A, CD19 positive and here the CD10 positive and also HLA, uh, HLA-DR positive. So this immunophenotyping report uh, as well as morphological report uh, goes to B uh, lymphoblastic leukemia. Here the some examples of two parameters uh, flow cytometry dot plot of different marker. Uh, uh, a plot indicate that uh, this is the plot of CD7 and CD3 and here the CD3 and CD7 both marker are positive so it goes to T uh, cell and this plot only the CD10 positive so this plot goes to um, B cell uh, B cell lineage and here the MPO positive and also the CD34 positive this also goes to uh, acute myeloid leukemia and this is also goes to acute myeloid leukemia as because see, here is a CD117 positive and HLDR positive and this uh, this also goes to uh, acute myeloid leukemia because uh, here this is CD13 positive and CD33 positive. So, <clears throat> this study has found that B cell ALL is the most common variant of leukemia and immunophenotyping accurately um, differentiate the subtypes of leukemia. So, flow cytometric uh, immunophenotyping is a powerful technology and especially useful for diagnosis, classification, risk stratification and to make plan for chemotherapy of childhood acute leukemia. So our recommendation is immunophenotyping should be done in all cases of leukemia even in resource limited settings for accurate diagnosis, prognostication and tailoring of the treatment. This is the reference. So thank you very much for patient sharing.